Okay, may, made it to Washington Park. It's a chilly 42 degrees for this 13 mile. That's right, a half marathon threshold run. This is, I mean, we're, we're narrowing down to some of the last hard efforts before the marathon. So it's almost, I mean, 42 degrees is pretty much perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold. I, maybe I would wish for maybe like 47, but I'll take 42 degrees Fahrenheit any day. And uh, all right, but I am going to wear a buff. It's a little chilly in my gloves for this warm up. Uh, and yes, it is 7 a.m. straight up. I like to do hard efforts before peak race at the exact same time as the race starts just to get the legs used to going fast earlier in the morning so if your peak race starts at 9 a.m do some hard workouts at 9 a.m maybe it's a, a late start maybe it's a, a noon start if you know it's during the winter or something then i would practice that's what i like to do uh just to again get the body used to waking up and going fast so all right here we go warm up i'll be right back oh man 13 miles come on now come on now let's do this by the way the allergies are seven out of ten they're not horrible but they're not great anyway i'm, I'm hanging in there there we go all right just a couple miles for the warm-up let's go place the bottles Zoom, 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 zoom. Couple of strides, and then we're gonna go. And we're gonna go. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, feeling pretty good. Temperatures are real nice right now, real nice. All right, see you in about, I'm gonna do a couple strides and then we'll see you all in hour and 10 minutes. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? Let's rock and roll. There we go, all right. Good day at Washington Park. I believe I met the goal. I'll get back to the house, upload it to Strava just to make sure before I let you know. Uh, it wasn't the perfect day. Wasn't an easy day per se. I'll explain why back at the, uh, back at the house. And just so you know, I did not film at all today during the workout with a GoPro or with a big camera. I actually just ran out of time because we are going on a mini family vacation, so I gotta get back to the house. Hanging out at Great Wolf Lodge with the fam. Here comes Joseph. Welcome to the studio, AKA the stairwell at the Great Wolf Lodge in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Basically the family and it's really echoey in here. I'm basically in a concrete bunker, so apologize if the audio is a little off right now. Uh, basically, the family's totally passed out, so I can't record this in the hotel room that we're staying at tonight. Uh, so anyway, we'll be back in the studio tomorrow night. Don't you worry, but, uh, in the, but I still want to get you some updates on today's run, and yes, we did have a great day today. You saw the footage. Uh, Great Wolf Lodge is amazing, but it can be a little expensive. Uh, so we are going in the off season. So basically right after the spring break rush, that's our little uh, tip of the day. If you want to save some, pinch some pennies when you're thinking about a little family vacation. So, okay, here we go. 
Yes, indeed. Uh, I did set a half marathon PR today, but that's not very hard to do because the last time I raced a half marathon, it wasn't very hard to do today because the last time I raced a half marathon was nine years ago. That's right, I haven't raced a road half marathon in nine years. And I thought, I think basically today, actually let me get you the official time, but I think my first half marathon was after CU. I kind of had a, not a big head, but I was very confident, like, okay, I can go out and just train 30 miles a week and run a fast half marathon. Well, it's not that easy. So I think I ran like 117, 118 for a half marathon nine years ago. Well, today, let me just pull it up here. I ran one hour and 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Actually, I think it was a little faster than that because I stopped the watch a little late. Basically one hour, 10 minutes, and let's just call it 30 seconds approximately. So basically 522 pace, 523 pace, right where I wanted to be. Um, actually, I wanted to be right at 520. My legs were struggling to wake up a little bit today. You know, they just, it was cold out. It was rainy, you saw the rain coming down on the window of the car. So anyway, it didn't go, it didn't play off quite as well as I had hoped, but I'll take it. It was a great workout, an hour, 10 minutes, we'll take it for my second to last threshold run for this training block. Um, so anyway, oh yeah, and let me just get you a few splits. Basically I average, I won't tell you all the splits, I basically went between, and I was in the Nike Zoom Fly Flyknit. So the first mile was 512 pace, the sixth mile was 523, the 10th mile 522, so that's good, but the last mile was 530, so I was slowing down a little bit toward the end there. Um, so anyway, that's um, that's just, that is the, the pacing, and what else did I want to mention? Basically, the Zoom Flies, they didn't feel amazing today for some reason. I don't know what it was. Um, I don't know if it was like the cold, it was like a little cold out, so the midsole was a little more stiff. Basically, it felt like I was slapping the pavement a little bit, and on the, like, the, the roads were wet that I was running on, so anyway, they just, I didn't feel like I was in complete control of the Zoom Flies today. Not a deal breaker, no major, like, I'm not totally concerned about it, but just wanted to update you on that. Um, it is a very slick outsole for the Nike Zoom Fly flying it um, and basically what else I'm just running through my I wrote down a few notes here to share with you all tonight I think that's it I am going to update you and yes the key word is going to be half for today's half marathon workout so half you could even do a one two down in the comments I'd appreciate it and you can still hear my um, my allergies <laughs> I, I just remembered that I was fighting the allergies a little bit today. It wasn't horrible, but I could definitely, anyway, I think it impacted my breathing just a little bit. So, um, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna give you a big update on a few things, and so come back tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna leave you hanging too much on that, but come back tomorrow, I'll give you an update on how the, more updates on today's run. So, question of the day has nothing to do with running, instead, what is your next vacation? All right, that is the question of the day. I personally someday would love to go do like a two or three country tour and of course run a couple races along the way. Uh, oh man, I just would love to go race somewhere in Europe, somewhere in South America, somewhere, I don't know. It would just be fun to do that. So anyway, let us know what is your next vacation. If you have a vacation planned, especially with summer coming up, uh, that would be so cool to hear that from all of you. And if you don't have one planned, maybe you could let us know. Maybe you just went on a vacation and uh, maybe we can all get some ideas going. And listen, I love asking questions of the day about running, but also about life, just to get to know all of you better, if you know what I mean. All right, we're at the Great Wolf Lodge. I'm signing off. Seek beauty. Work hard. Good job, man.